G'day and welcome back to CS38 Racing and we are here for episode 9 of Moto2 Career Mode. We're heading down to Assen. We have to keep ourselves ahead of Aldeguer in the standings, which we've done so far, but we do have Germany coming up and Silverstone, tracks I'm not too fond of. Austria, sort of mid. Aragon, don't like. Yes, I like Mazzano. I do like the Bud circuit. I like Indonesia. I like Japan. I like Australia. I like Thailand. I like Sepang. And I don't like Valencia. So we're coming into a part of the season where there is going to be a few races that I'm expecting to do well at. Okay, so we've got wet practices. Dry practice two. Qualifying one and qualifying two. All right, so we'll see you guys down in qualifying and then that will be followed by an eight lap race. Okay, we're here for the second qualifying session. We made it to third overall. So let's go out to track and see what sort of time we can set. deep in there. Restart the flying lap, give ourselves some space. And hopefully that space can give us the ability to take the lines we want to take. Damn it, we run just a little bit wide there. It's 
Let's go into the pit for pit new tires. Let's see if this time brings us any good anything good. That put us with a seven tenths ahead of Arbolino. Let's see if we can keep pressure on for this lap and improve a little bit more. Done our time there, we hit the edge. Currently Aldeguez in 11, we've got a bit more time that we can find. Surprised that Aldegar is currently in 11th. I thought this track really would have suited him.
Oh, it's the time there, so I reckon that's gonna the director offering up end our session. Let's see what the results come to. The second Moto Two. And we do. We managed to claim to pole. Another, uh, the another pole. <laughs> How many poles have we had now? I'm not too sure. But either way, we've done pretty well. Aldeguer didn't seem to set a time there, so he must have been having a problem with track limits or. Something a lot of people haven't set time, so it's probably a bit of a bug, but either way, it gives us the ability, a little bit of breathing room, to ensure that we can beat Aldegare here. What you're waiting for, it is race time. Okay, so, they're recommending, I'm going to go with the medium front. Recommending the soft rear. Will the soft rear last the eight laps? That's what I'm thinking about. Hmm. So we've done about, I'm going to go with the medium medium. I think it, it, we need that rear tyre towards the end of the race. And I think that's what we're going to need. There's something magical about racing at Assen. The crowd is ready, the riders are ready, we're ready. Let's see what we can do now. Lino got the jump there. Starting to worry about the medium rear tyre here as it's getting quite cold. I'm wondering if that cold tyre is going to cause us some issues with cold tear. Hopefully it'll be all right. bit slower into that sector that time round. Gonzalez is right back on our tails here. There was a little bit of a touch there.
now we're definitely starting to come under pressure. Lopez is through. So we had to take the the exit road there. So these medium tires were definitely not the choice we needed here, but we've got to manage with what we've got. We're just losing time here. Oh, now we're well out wide. See if we can settle back into a rhythm here. Just need to be smart here and take the points. We've only got two laps to go. Just really concentrating to keep these tyres going.
this is proving. Oh, has Lopez got a penalty here? I missed that that was the case. I'm just trying to set into a rhythm here that keeps us in front of Dixon. Dixon is right there. The question is, is, do we have enough to defend ourselves against Dixon? So Lopez, I think, has done his penalty. Dixon's got through on us here. Now we have to defend against Arenas. We hold to the line, so we do just manage to get fifth. Hey, so we managed to get fifth there just on the line. It wasn't our strongest race, but we were ahead of Aldegar, so we did gain some more points. Um, I think the tire choice was just wrong there. I think we should have gone with the soft. But either way, we still conserved as best as we could, uh, didn't make any silly mistakes and didn't go down. So that puts us 20 points ahead of Aldegar in the championship at this stage with Vietti climbing up to third, Arbolino climbing up to fourth. So we've got a little bit of a, a little bit of breathing room, but not a hu huge amount. So still fourth in the team's championship. That's that. All right, if you like that one, guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single episode here on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, have fun, keep living life and playing games. I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.